Thanks for joining me again on the free pilot training channel. Today we're going to be talking about airplane controllability. In the last lesson we discussed airplane stability, we're going to be building on that today. That's because airplane stability also affects airplane controllability. In the simplest terms, controllability just means that the airplane will respond well to your control inputs. For example, if I push down my right rudder pedal, how much and how quickly would my aircraft yaw to the right? In aircraft that are designed to be stable, if stability decreases, so will controllability. Let's talk about how for just a minute. Remember, airplanes are designed so that the center of gravity is typically in front of the center of lift. But what would happen if we move the center of gravity behind the center of lift? You could potentially do this by putting too much weight in the baggage compartment or by putting too much weight in the back seat, like passengers. With the CG behind the center of lift, the airplane is much less stable. If the center of gravity is too far back, it could be aft of its allowable limits. This could make it really difficult to recover from a stall. That's because the elevators may not have enough control authority to pitch down and break the stall by reducing the angle of attack. So you can see that the first way we affect controllability in the airplane is by moving the center of gravity. Another way we can make the airplane easier or harder to control is by changing the angle of attack. When you increase the speed of your airplane and reduce the angle of attack, this will cause the center of lift to move back too. With an increase in distance between your center of gravity and your center of lift, and because the horizontal stabilizer is producing more downforce, the airplane will become more stable. But when you slow the airplane and you increase the angle of attack, the two are closer together and the tail is producing less downforce. The airplane is less stable in this condition and it can be much more difficult to control. So by changing the angle of attack, we can also affect controllability. Another way we can do this is by making power changes. Anytime the engine is moving the propeller, air will flow over the airplane's control surfaces. We call this the slipstream. When wind from the slipstream moves across our control surfaces, they will have more control authority. Some airplanes like T-tails have control surfaces outside of the slipstream. These control surfaces are relatively unaffected by the slipstream and rely solely on relative wind, which is one of the most important things that affects controllability. Every control surface needs relative wind in order to control the aircraft. And that's one of the many reasons why airspeed is so important. Hey, I hope you enjoyed lesson seven today and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for me so you can know when there's more free pilot training.